The combination of high-powered lasers and ultra-zoom cameras like the Nikon P900 have destroyed the globe narrative for those who are willing to open their eyes and see. Our flat Earth reality is evident, with demonstrable and repeatable testing that anyone can perform. As always, you don't have to take my word for it. Go out and test it yourself. As proven with engineering software, the GLOBE model mandates that all bodies of water must have a noticeable degree of convexity and would drop away from the observer on all sides approximately 8 inches per mile squared, a mathematical expression that is very accurate up to even a distance of a thousand miles. However, I'll be using an online GLOBE curvature calculator like this one to make accurate calculations really simple with both observation heights and distances taken into consideration. The following laser test will prove that there is no globe earth curvature and therefore no globe. Let's begin. For this test, Groda 1 drove his snowmobile on a frozen lake with a green laser shining behind him. That's the same Groda 1 who conducted this frozen lake colored light test demonstrating a very flat frozen lake over a distance of 8 miles which I'll discuss more in a subsequent video. But for this earlier test, Grota 1 drove his snowmobile across a frozen lake while maintaining line of sight to the laser that was 2.4 feet above the lake's surface. With all successful laser tests, you need clear, consistent air without miraging and other atmospheric distortions and a direct line of sight like here. To find the globe, Grota 1 drove 7.5 miles and could still see the laser source as shown here and even the laser light shining on his hand. Under the globe, at that distance, he would have had to have been 21 feet high to see the laser source over the supposed frozen hump of curved water. Do you really think that frozen lakes have a giant frozen hump between two opposing shores? The nonsensical globe simply does not match reality. The next test was conducted by Flat Earth Perth in Australia. The laser was at 8.2 feet off of the water. The camera was 1.3 feet off of the water at a distance of 9.54 miles. The globe mass says that 24 feet should have been hidden behind the Earth's curvature. In contradiction to the globe model, you can most certainly see the laser source. This next laser test was conducted by D. Marble at the Pacific Ocean. The laser was at a height of 7 feet off of the water and was 10 miles away from the observer. The laser source is so bright that D. Marble was able to even film it with his cell phone. The globe mass states that at that laser height and distance, an observer would have to be 30 feet high to see the laser source. Debunking the globe model, D. Marble brought his cell phone to just inches off of the calm water and you can still see the laser source. Now, the propagandists have tried to claim that the laser source is only visible because the laser wasn't level. The argument is nonsense, as it is irrelevant. Under the globe, if the laser was angled downwards, you still wouldn't see the laser source as it would have been hidden behind the curved water. If the laser was angled upward, you still wouldn't see the bright laser source. Next, we have a laser test by a PhD who goes by the name Dr. John D. That's the same PhD who filmed this footage showing a horizon more than five times further than the globe model would allow. To any honest thinking person, that footage alone destroys the globe model. But for this laser test, the distance was 9.5 miles. The laser height was 0.5 feet off of the ocean water. The globe model says that the observer would have to be 50 feet high to see the laser source. But in this case, the observer was only 2.3 feet high. Proving the globe faults again, you can most certainly see the laser source. For the next three tests, a husband and wife team tested the alleged earth curvature and discovered for themselves there is no earth curvature over water and therefore no globe. For this test, the laser was 16.42 miles away from the observer and 4 feet off of the water. According to the globe math, the observer would have had to have been a whopping 130 feet high to observe the laser source. However, the observer's camera was only two feet above the water and you could still see the source of the laser. Can you open your eyes and see that the globe has a major problem here? The next two tests were conducted at 10.4 miles, but on two different days. At 10.4 miles and a laser height of only one foot, according to the globe model, 57 feet should have been hidden behind the curvature. Of course, to find the globe, you can see the obvious laser source. Look at the reflection on the obviously flat water. 
The next day, they conducted the same test. Without question, he has direct line of sight to the laser source, not some mirage. All of this footage should be impossible under the globe. I have also conducted several tests at Utah Lake proving it flat, but this next laser test by a father-son team was awesome. It comes from the YouTube channel Level Headed. For the test, the laser at a height of 5.5 feet was 13.7 miles away from the observer. At that distance and laser height, the observer would have to be 78 feet high to see the laser. As shown in the video, you can certainly see the source of the laser as it hits the camera. The cameraman even brought his camera down to just 9 inches above the water and he was able to still film the laser, conclusively proving water does not curve at 8 inches per mile squared as required by the globe. That laser source should have been over 100 feet below the Earth's horizon, but it wasn't below any supposed water bulge. The next laser test was conducted by a truth-loving group of Muslims at the Sea of Galilee in Israel or Palestine if you prefer. For the test, the laser was three feet off the water, which would mean the observer would have to be 59 feet to see the source of the laser under the globe. Instead, the observers filmed the laser just a few feet off the water. Not only can you see the source of the laser, but the reflection of the laser on the water unequivocally proves the water has no giant bulge between the laser and the observer. Again, no giant water bulge means no globe. For this next test, we have a couple from Romania, testing the flat earth off of the coast in Italy. The YouTube channel name is Paradox Romania. The laser height was 6.6 .6 feet, and the distance was 9.4 miles. According to Globe Math, you'd have to be 26 feet high to see the laser source. Instead, the observer brought the camera down to just 2 feet. Israel, Italy, England, Australia, North America. There is no curvature anywhere. With many observers present, and after testing a mirror flash that was 18 miles away as shown on this video, this laser source was also 18 miles away. This video comes from the YouTube channel Mike Bowl. The laser was approximately 5 feet high at 18 miles. That means that the observers would have to have been at over 155 feet in order to see that laser. Again, to find the globe, the observers filmed the laser just a few feet off of the water. Although more difficult with changes in elevation and more obstructions, you can also test the flat earth with a laser on land. This test was brought to us by Mikey Smith, horizontally approved. For the test, Mikey drove to different spots along a very flat highway adjacent to railroad tracks in Saskatchewan, Canada. The laser was set up at approximately 5 feet above the railroad tracks. For the final test, Mikey drove 21.2 miles away from the laser. At that distance, the observer would need to be 227 feet higher than the laser in order to see the laser over the curvature hump. According to Google Earth, the laser was at an elevation of 1,912 feet, and the final observation of the laser test was at an elevation of 1,964 feet, a difference of 52 feet. The globe hidden was 227 feet. Mikey, as the observer, was at an elevation of 52 feet higher than the laser. Subtracting the higher elevation, Mikey still would have had to have been 175 feet higher at his location to see the source of the laser. Be lying the globe again, you can see the source of the laser 21.2 miles away. The view of that laser was 100% impossible under the globe. Water, land, ice, oceans, or lakes, the result is the same. The Earth is flat. I've shared these next two tests several times, and I can assure you that these tests were conducted honestly. This one was filmed by me at Bear Lake between Idaho and Utah. That laser was at a distance of 18.83 miles and at 5 feet above the icy water. Under the globe, I would need to be at 173 feet to see the source of this laser. I filmed the laser and its reflection at just 5 feet above the water. Absolutely no curvature is present. This was my furthest laser test so far at a distance of 21.03 miles with a laser height of 5 feet. That is a globe hidden height of 223 feet. At just 5 feet above the water, I filmed the laser source and its reflection, proving the Earth flat. Obviously, it's a direct line of sight to the laser source, over 200 feet of missing curvature. Many people ask what kind of laser I use for the test. Well, here it is. I'll end with 
two very long observations from a group of well-educated researchers called FE Core. This video comes from the YouTube channel Decimal Z. These tests were conducted at Lake Isel in the Netherlands. For the longest test ever recorded over water so far, the laser was 24.94 miles away at a height of 9.6 feet. That equals a Earth curvature hidden height of a huge 298 feet. That is almost enough supposed curvature to entirely hide the Statue of Liberty with its base and foundation included. Breaking the globe, the camera filmed the laser source at just 5 feet above the water. Finally, this test was at a distance of 17.8 miles. The camera filming the laser was only 2.8 feet above the water. Listen. Okay, check this out, brothers and sisters. 28 kilometers in your face. Wow. Wow. Awesome. That is awesome. Uh, my camera is uh, 85 centimeters uh, above uh, sea level. Look at that. That's amazing. You can see it reflecting off the lake water. Yeah. That's astounding. That's the nail in the coffin. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, this is so great, boss. It's really awesome. Any intelligent person who loves truth can reasonably perform these laser tests. The conclusion is clear. Regardless of the location, Flat Earth is our reality. Of course, you can believe in admitted photoshopped cartoon images as your reality. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. You can believe in silly looking space models and hope they're real. You can believe in Freemason astronauts dangling from wires and astronauts swimming in pools when they're supposed to be in space. You can believe in the ridiculous moon landings that supposedly took place 50 years ago, even though you can see the obvious 1960s movie set backdrops. You can continue to believe in computer graphics and fake images as your reality, and you can certainly live in your globe illusion. As for me, I seek the truth, not imaginary narratives, regardless of popularity. Flat Earth is a wonderful, fundamental paradigm shift that will waken your soul but it's up to you whether you'll accept the truth.